Hello. How are you? That's me. Well, I'm fine. Thank you. I am fine. Hmm. What's this am business? Today I want to teach you one new verb. Just one. And then some family relationships as well. This one verb is the verb be. Huh? Be. Now, what does it mean? Be deals more or less with the identity of things. The identity of things. Uh, for example, uh, what am I? I am a man. I am an American. I am a teacher. I am also, because I am married, and I am a husband to my wife. I am a father. I am a father. <laughs> kind of cute, isn't he? Uh, this is my son here. And I am a father to my child. Uh-huh. Uh, and of course, I am also a son. I have a mother and a father, uh, and I have a brother and a sister. So I am a son to my mother and father, and I am a brother to my brother and my sister. So this is the, this is the verb to be. Now, the verb be is very irregular. Do you understand irregular, strange, weird, like kind of like me a little bit? It's irregular. It's irregular, that means that it doesn't, you don't say I be, you be, he bees, no, 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 not at all. It's very irregular. I am, okay, the verb is called be, this is be, but we say I am, you are, um, uh, he is, she is. And then, of course, you, which in English doesn't really exist, a formal you, but you are. So we have I am, you are, he is, am, are, is. And the verb's called be. So be comes in the forms of am, are, and is. Okay? Uh, why don't you repeat, the, re repeat those forms after me? Repeat, 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 okay? Uh, be. We can use your hands and say the word. Be. Uh-huh. I am. Right? You are. Uh -huh. He is. She is. Okay, good. And of course, you are also. Um, now, you should know that I am, you are, he is, form contractions. That means two words, I am, when spoken rapidly, you could say, are run together to form a contraction. Uh, in essence, a single word. I am, I'm. Uh -huh. Repeat. I am, repeat. I am, I'm. Right. So I am American or I'm American. I am uh, what I am a father. I am a father to this handsome young man. Or so I am or I'm a father. Okay. Uh, now you, you are. Um, I am or I'm a, stu a teacher. Excuse me. I'm a teacher. You are, uh -huh, you are a student, a student, because you're learning English. You are your. You can say you are or your. You are a student or you're a student. Repeat, you are your. Right, your. Maybe you're French, maybe you're Mexican, you're Spanish, you're Chinese, um, uh, but you, you're a student. You are a student or you're a student. Uh, you are, uh, 
Oh, you are a boy, or you are a girl, or you're a boy, you're a girl. I am a man, or I'm a man. Okay, how about um, the, the, the next one? He is, he is. For example, he is, uh, he is a boy. Okay, he is a boy. I can say he is or he's. Uh -huh. He's a boy. He is a boy. He's a boy. And she is a girl. She is a girl or she's a girl. Okay, so I am is also formed or is also said I'm. You are your. He is he's. She is she's. Okay? So let's talk look at some family relationships. For example, here we have the Wilson family. Now Jim is Mary's husband. Turn it around. Mary is Jim's wife. Repeat. Husband wife okay good so Jim Jim is uh, Mary's husband and Mary is Jim's wife now Jim and Mary have two children Eddie and Susan Eddie and Susan so Jim is Eddie's father Jim is Susan's father okay uh, we could also say he is he's Eddie's father and he's Susan's father also all right now uh, Mary Mary is Eddie's mother and she is or she's Susan's mother also okay repeat father mother Good. Now let's talk about Eddie and Susan, what their relationship is to each other. Eddie is Susan's sister. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Think about it, Steve. Eddie is Susan's brother. There we go. Right. You can say he is or he is Susan's brother or he's Susan's brother. Okay. Now, Susan is Eddie's sister, or she is Eddie's sister, or she's Eddie's sister, okay? Repeat, brother, sister. Okay, good. Now, what is their relationship to their parents? Um, uh, Eddie is... Jim's son, okay, and he is uh, Mary's son, also, he is, he's Mary's son, uh, Susan is Mary's daughter, okay, or she is Jim's daughter, she is, she's Jim's daughter. Repeat, son, daughter. Very good. Now, what are you? What are you? You are, first of all, you are a particular nationality. You're, are, are, let, me, let me ask you this question. And you'll notice I don't use do or does. This is different. You are. This is my question. Are you? Are you American? Probably not. Okay. You're not. We say, you would say, I am. I am. I'm or I am not American. I'm French or I'm Japanese or I'm Korean or I'm Russian, whatever. Um, uh, are you? You are. Are you, uh, let's see, are you a student 
or a teacher? Yeah, you would say, I am or I'm a student. Okay, so you, I'm speaking individually now, I could say you plural too. You are a student, or you are, or you're a student. So you are a student, or you're a student. Um, are you a father or a mother? Maybe you're not a young student. Maybe you're not a child. Maybe you're an adult. Um, you are. <whistles> My question. Are you, are you a father? Are you a father or a mother? Okay, probably most of you said, no, I am, I am, I am, I am, or I'm not a father. I'm not a mother. Probably most of you are younger. Okay, uh, so you are not a father or a mother. You, you aren't, oh, excuse me, we don't want to get into that. You're, you're not a father or a mother. Well, there's an introduction to the verb um, be. I am, you are, he is, she is, or I'm, you're, he's, she's. And in the rest of this lesson, you'll be learning how to use it in complete sentences. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.